Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Product of the week, brought to you by Tackle World, now with eight great locations around Victoria. Tackle World, where our advice is priceless, that's why it's for free. See you down. Now, I know we didn't have any kingfish in Catch of the Week, but it's certainly a predominant species this time of year and plenty of people are doing it. Reports of two to 300 uh, boats in the rip and ads. We're gonna talk about what is the combo that you would use from a beginner's yep. to the highest and one in between out uh, because there are some sensational combos out on the market these days. And, yeah, there is. Um, you, you don't, you need the weapon. Like, yeah. like yeah. you aren't gonna stop a, a kingfish, a yellowtail kingfish with a kid's rod or your snapper outfit yeah. or anything like that, you need the weapon, but you don't have to pay a fortune. Exactly. But if you like to, you can pay a fortune. So e Yeah, exactly. And that's probably a great way to explain it. Mm. Uh, we, where we fish for our kingfish is in quite turbulent water as there's a lot of structure underneath. So even small fish of three to five kilos yep. can really put a bit of stress on the gear. So you do need to go a little bit heavier than I guess mm. I won't say you'd like to, but then you would probably need to. So you're fighting the fish and you've got water resistance at the same Correct. time. Correct, and because of the the current and the tidal flow associated with the rip, you're using jigs in excess of 200 grams. Yeah. So your lighter gear can't really cope with the, mm. with the weight of the lures you're using. So we've covered three <coughs> distinct price points. Now the thing is with an, when we talk entry level, I guess, Dave, for uh, kingfish combos, we're mm. not talking $30. No. This, it's serious gear for serious fish, but kingfish gear and I guess good quality gear mm. in general is at a, a much more affordable price point than we've ever seen. Yeah. So the first one we're focusing on um, is the first thing that's gonna grab you is with the rod. I'll, I'll start with the rod over the reel. Beautiful black and gray camo grips. Yep. This is a Stalo stick, they call it a wrench. So straight away, you can tell by the name that a it bit is of power. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's designed around power. Now this is the shortest out of the three rods we'll look at. So it's designed specifically for a straight up and down vertical jigging rod. Yep. Uh, the reel is a is a Spheros Saltwater Ten Thousand. Yep. With all the reels we're going to look at, you've got a, a variety of different sizes. You're looking anywhere from eight thousand to twenty thousand, depending on your line class. Mm -hmm. And if you want to, and if you want to switch it over for other applications, that's a good thing with jig rods these days. They've been designed with more than one thing, uh, I guess, in mind. So you can troll with this, no worries. You can live bait with this, no worries. It is designed predominantly as a <coughs> jigging rod, uh, and that falls at a beautiful price point where you're getting great quality gear. Hagani, everything in the reel, which was spoken about on previous shows basically just means smoother for longer. So the durability is no question, 10 year warranty on the reel. Um, that is a great little combo that you can use for more than one application when bluefin, uh, the bluefin yep. season starts, yep. or when I say it never ended, mm. but when it comes into vogue again for this year, no doubt we'll be talking mm. about this combo again. Is that two piece? It is two piece, yeah. it, joins, it joins in the butt. If I can, Usually join I made sure butt. I hammered it straight mm. in. Yeah. Um, so it is, you can travel quite yeah. easily. So they, mm. they join in the butt section so that you don't lose any power through the working curve of the yeah. rod. Now is that a graphite rod? It is a graphite rod. Yep. Um, all of these are graphite. Y you can get glass alternatives, but just the value for money and good yeah. quality graphite, you just yeah. don't need to. And I think the other thing is when, you, when no. you're jigging all day and you know it's, it is a strain on old blokes' bodies like mine, um, you want graphite, you know, you just want the lightest mm. possible. And I mean, I don't know the weight of that one, but you certainly get plenty of power at it and it's quite light. That's right, and being yeah. so short, it helps keep your center of gravity. Yeah. So it's specifically designed yep. for really aggressive, fast action vertical jigging, so they're quite stiff. You can run a 200 gram jig over that, jig it all day long. Listen, you're gonna get, you're gonna get tired. Doesn't matter what happens. It's yep. an aggressive form of fishing. It's loads of fun and that's a great way to get started. Uh, moving into the middle of the three that we bought in <coughs> this evening. Again, the rod is probably the superstar here because it's just that little bit new. Now, Dave, Trally, we sat down with a group mm. of the boys from Victoria and we actually designed this rod specifically mm. for That's our the market. It's the Shimano DNA series. DNA series. Yep. It's, an, it's a nano concept blank, which means it has that nano resin. And what that does is fill all the tiny little 
gaps in between the weave of the graphite just to help reinforce the rod even further. We decided on basically a split cosmetic. Uh, we've got just a nice non-offensive black in the, in the main butt section with a white tip and you'll find that throughout the whole range of the Nano that, Series rods. It's got a gimbal on the end? It does have a gimbal on the end, um, which in this form of fishing is very important yep. because it will hurt you <laughs> if you yeah, don't yeah, have that yeah. on it. So you're either wearing a belt <coughs> or you've got the cap over the top. This is a little bit longer, six foot. And yep. this was designed... Let me load that up. I, I, I yeah. think we can probably get it on camera there. It's um, They're very, very fast action oh, and that's rods. And you can put some cool. serious, serious yeah. hurt. It's, it's hard to... It's hard to show you just how much pressure we can put on these rods, but six foot, a little bit longer, it makes it probably a little little bit more user friendly for your live baiting application. Yeah. You can see that in your rod holders, yep. it sits well over the gunnel of the boats on those yep. bigger boats with wider gunnels to give you a little bit more control. We've matched it with a Saragosa 10,000, again, a saltwater concept reel by Shimano. Mm. We've spoken about this reel, reel before, and Dave, this is one of our highest selling it's reels tough. in the shop. It's just tough, yeah. isn't it? It is, and yeah. it's got such yeah. a such high drag capacity yeah. for a compact reel. It'll do everything yeah. you want to nice do easily. Nice long butt, so it goes into your rod holder. That's right, slick Full butt. Full yep. yep. mm. they've We really have cut out everything we can to keep it light yep. and keep it comfortable. The now, beast. Dave. The beast. Yeah. Now, Here we go. this just gets me excited. Exactly. <laughs> and it's ex and no you know substitute. what? It is, it is just as much designed for that yeah. than it is for, for its actual well, application. Well, for getting people excited. Oh, yeah. Correct. Even if you don't catch fish, you still feel good. Listen. Exactly. Yeah. Shimano, game type J. <laughs> mm -hmm. this, is, this was designed specifically for the Japanese market, so it's only quality. Yeah. Spiral Pre Previous to 18 months ago, two years ago, you, you would could never not, find well, you couldn't get in Australia because yeah. it was yep. made for Japan. That's right. Mm. And only available in Japan. We're bringing them Japanese in now. Yep. Market. You would never yeah. find one in Australia. Mm. Now it's <coughs> accessible to us and we are so happy that it is. Spiral X, High Power X. People need to Google that. So, so yeah. Yeah. Spiral, Spiral X, X and High Power X. Just remember those two terms because they're Japanese technology and we were lucky enough to go to the Japan yep. factory last year in Shimano, mm. uh, or Shimano factory in Japan, yeah. and just see what that means. It and is revolutionising uh, it, rod, rod blanks. Yeah. It's, a con it's a brand new concept. It's now, ridiculous how light they now, are. Now, if you read that tag there, it's, it's written in Japanese, but I could tell today what the weight of the rod was. That rod weighs 200 grams. Mm. And to put that it's, into concept, like context, yeah. 200 grams in weight, yeah. it is rated PE6. Yep. Now, in I guess we're used to talking in pounds, what that means, this is a 50 to 80 pound jig rod that mm. weighs mm. 200 grams. Yeah, it's crazy. Let, let me load that up because yeah, that's what and this is. And, this and, is and remember, this is a <coughs> 200 gram rod that is as light as a feather. Light as anything. Mm. Now, Spiral X. Look at that. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> no, no, but that, <laughs> Look at that. that is just, I mean, I know that's probably digging into your yeah. gut there. Um, we saw a rod that was made with Spiral X in the Shimano factory, but they actually got the tip of the rod and bent it round to the butt. Now, it didn't have yeah. all the guides on yeah. and, and that sort of yeah. stuff, but that's the flexibility that this Spiral X technology gives. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's carbon tape, it's wrapped in a certain pattern. Just load that again, because yeah. there's probably a really good point to prove here. Yeah. You are working a hell of a lot harder than I am to hold onto that rod. Yeah, yeah. That's, and that's, that's the, the point. The yeah. That's, the, that's the point. You're getting hurt, I'm not. Yeah. I am yeah. just digging into my guts, but I'm not, I'm not stressing. I'm not getting pulled over. That reel there is a Stella 10,000 saltwater concept. It pulls 20. That, that is up there, and I'm gonna. This I'm gonna compare it to the the engagement ring that James Packer gave Mariah, yeah, Mariah there, Carey. Yeah, there that, you go. That huh? is just. If yeah. you if you want the best, 20 carat. It, it doesn't it's get any exactly. better than that. 20, With a Stella 10. 26 kilos of max drag or 24 20, kilos. 25 kilos Something of drag on a, on a Stella that 10. You'll never yeah. ever hold on to. Yeah. And that. This rod was designed with that reel yep. in mind. It is crazy lightweight, it pulls enormous mm. amounts of drag and it mm. does not get any mm. better than that. Mm. All those reels can be converted right to left hand too, so Correct. you yeah. can yep. fix them both ways. Yeah. Correct. For so the uncoordinated. But and <laughs> d seriously, do yourself a favour, if you haven't felt that outfit, even if you can't afford it or you don't want to buy one, just come in go and into a, a tackle shop and have a look and have a just feel. Just exactly. have a feel. What I found with fishing it's with these rods too is you tend to get, you tend to get if I'm wrong, it's, you tend to you feel like you're pulling from the middle of your hand when you're pulling a fish, yeah. mm. where some of the other ones, cheap ones, tend to want to pull you out of the boat. I was going to say, they want to pull you over. And that was, and these you'll like see, even, even with these, it, they're supposed to fold right from the butt. Yeah. 
Yeah, so <coughs> they're, good. they're just phenomenal, phenomenal just pieces of fishing good. gear. I'd rather have the Marine. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> I'm sure Mariah Carey does it, but anyway. <laughs> oh, it's just an analogy, you know, if you really, really want the best. It's the best that, of the best. That is the best. So, um, thanks, Ads, because um, that is some sensational gear, Great and uh, you just need to come and check it Great. out. Talking fishing. Talking fishing, talking fishing. Nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Product of the week. Brought to you by Tackle World. Now with eight great locations around Victoria. Tackle World, where our advice is priceless. That's why it's for free. See you down at Tackle World today. Now, I know we didn't have any kingfish in Catch of the Week, but it's certainly a predominant species this time of year and plenty of people are doing it. Reports of two to three hundred uh, boats in the rip. And ads, we're going to talk about what is the combo that you would use from a beginner's to the highest and one in between out uh, because there are some sensational combos out on the market these days and yeah there is um you, you don't you need the weapon like yeah. like mm. you well, aren't going to stop a, a a kingfish a yellowtail kingfish with a kid's rod or your snapper outfit yeah. or anything like that you need the weapon but you don't have to pay a fortune exactly but if you like to you can pay a fortune so e yeah exactly and that's probably a great way to